Now the next thing I'd like to talk about is to do with the nature of the plasma arc as it emits from the torch. Now if you can use your imagination that this is the, the tip of the torch, and coming out of it is this stream of plasma. Now because it's gas and it's being squirted out at such a high pressure, it tends to want to fan out. This is also encouraged by the fact that the gas is swirling and it'll tend to want to spiral and become wider the further away from the torch it gets. Now if you can imagine a piece of material with this beam travelling through it, you tend to get quite unsightly edges on your cut. They would tend to be undercut. Now that's undesirable for most people. But something else happens. As the arc gets further away from the torch, it actually loses intensity also. So you get the majority of the heat through the centre with this beam actually losing intensity the further out it gets. And the result is that you end up with this type of effect. Of course, the spray itself is fanning out, but the intensity has this type of upside down flame shape to it. That means that it's not, in fact, as bad as it seems. You do get another effect which produces the opposite shape. Ideally, we're going to cut with the material and the torch at such a distance so that the vertical edge on the cut is as close to perpendicular to the sheet as possible. To make things a little clearer, I've just redrawn the arc shape as it effectively cuts the material. Now, can you imagine if the material was down here? The cut would tend to taper in towards the middle. Now that is an effect of being too high when you're cutting. Of course, you could be too close. Now this is undesirable for many reasons, but the effect is that you would end up with that undercut, which as we mentioned earlier, is also undesirable. What we're trying to achieve is a situation where the material is precisely in the optimum cutting distance from the torch. This means that we're going to get those nice vertical edges and we're going to get a clean cut that's able to be controlled precisely.